Okay, introduce yourselves. What? Are you from? You're probably that. <laughs> what are you doing? How Cecil. Are you? I'm, I'm sorry. What? Do you think you're the most important person she's in this a, band? She's in my chair, too. Are you the most important person in this band? Who's in my chair? Are you going to get out of my chair? No. You, what? Do you think you're Justin Timberlake or something? <laughs> Just hey, Miss Woo Poo! Just sit down. Hey. I'd appreciate it if you weren't in Cecil's chair. Like, <laughs> well, he's no. sitting over there. Oh, what okay, a gentleman. Introduce back to the first question. Yeah. Yeah. My statement. Name. Introduce yourselves. I'm Cecil Magister. I'm the Kipso Kid, Hambone Jones. I'm Pinky Biggins, and together we make This Last Sunday. This Last, this Sunday. last Sunday. This Last Sunday. Okay, so what would you define This Last Sunday as? Awesome. The greatest band ever. Better than DDF. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. What musical genre would you classify yourselves as? Everything. 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 Except we have Everything and more. Yes. Including Most experimental good. <laughs> we have not yet broken all the boundaries. What what like We're jazz. The is what we haven't done and what we haven't done. Okay, what haven't you what musical genres have you not stepped into? Oh, uh, rap. rap and ska. So much. Doing that later. Oh, oh, we'll do ska. We'll do ska, ska later. The kids are doing ska. We haven't really done any hip hop either. That's okay. <laughs> they just said rap. <laughs> Maybe hip hop. Yeah. Oh, I'm, and then we have we have bluegrass. We have grunge metal, blues, blues, blues pop, ballads, jazz. Classic rock. So what, what Experimental part? electronica. <laughs> yeah, and some Yellow. free pure music. Modern contemporary stuff. What part do you three play in the band? <laughs> well, you know, I mean, some of them are a little into substance abuse and they have some problems. Okay. So I, I, I do have the um, lead role in many of the uh, songs. Um, you know, I play about every instrument ever, so. What I do. Kipso, please, <laughs> at your age. So what instruments do each of you play? I play piano, guitar, violin, and other stuff. I play the bass and the guitar and the tingle blaster. You don't play tingle blaster. I play tingle I play, bla I play tingle you, blaster. You know what? Tingle hey guys, is I think we have one volume with Cecil on tingle blaster and one volume with Kips on tingle blaster. Actually, I believe there's one volume that has tingle blaster, and both of us play it on that. Okay, volume. what does Hambo do? I don't really do anything. I Thank don't. you, Miss Woopoo. You don't do anything. Really. You don't do anything so except the make band? the band sexy. <laughs> oh. Hambone, Hambone is our vocalist slash trumpet player. So it's just a sex appeal? He dances. Yeah, that's what I did. He's like our little front man monkey. That's what I dance for them. Focuses the lens on us. I want to see the dance. I see. So, wait! Pinky Biggins has said what he plays. Well, Pinky Biggins, being Pinky Biggins, I play the woodwinds, flute, clarinet, and saxophone. I'm the harmonica player. The harmony. I, uh, I occasionally vocalize, and of course I get all the ladies. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, what would you list as your musical influences? Like any particular artists? Ourselves. <laughs> no one else at Eight all? Eight Money. Grace Park. Eight, Eight Money. Eight Money. I think Grace Park is my inspiration like, for everything I've ever done. Just I just didn't know what mine did it. Musical influences. Oh. I would definitely say Reliant K. I'd say I'd say Led Zeppelin. Oh. Oh. The Beatles. Mm. We do have the Beatles. We Thelonious have, Monk. John we, Lennon. We got some Thelonious Monk in there. Pink Floyd. And, uh, I think we got some old Duke. I think we've got some Fugazi, although you guys don't know it yet. On my birthday edition, you have to. Has anybody have you seen Ham Taro? I like that. Oh, that is oh, wonderful. I've seen it. Okay. You know okay. what? I think we should. Well, Okay, yeah. let's yeah. Let's get off him talking. Definitely eight money. Eight money is a big influence. Eight money is a definitely eight money is eight money started it on the pure music ensemble. So where do you see this band going? Straight to the top. Straight to the top. Definitely. We're gonna be these costumes that you see on right now are gonna be Can on the walls. The walls of Hard Rock Cafe. Hard Rock oh. Cafe right here. I see. Nice.
Does anyone have any alcohol? What are you doing? I'm sorry. Stop you trying to... something to show Is this your drug picking? lord or something? Hello? No, he does not need any drugs right now. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Somebody have some... Stop! I... Uh, he, he, look, he's already got some... Get rid of that. Okay. Anyway, oh. we, these are our costumes. Yeah, here are... Look. You can each... My you influence was... the camera. Harry Potter, Gryffindor. It's kind of hot in here, don't you think? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and then uh, Hambo. Okay, Hambo, you show your yeah, this, costume. This is just oh, everyone oh. needs to do the. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Tommy. Kipso. I don't know who Tommy oh. is. I don't know <laughs> what you're talking about. Kipso. The hat. Oh, my hat. Oh. Kipso, <laughs> what do you think? I, I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm so high right now. I can't see straight. It's very nice. You fit so good. So, what's the motive behind it to your names? Like, Kipso Kid? What does that signify? It signifies Kipso Kid. We're Kipso kid. We're gonna I'll have to say Acid Trip. <laughs> He's the Kipso Kid. And Cecil Megastar? You know what? If you don't know why, don't you don't deserve to know why. Except. Yeah. If you don't know why, If you can't great. figure it out, you don't deserve to know, honey. <laughs> I'm sorry. Taken from our favorite coke storage space. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean... What? You wouldn't understand. So... Oh, I'm sorry. You wouldn't understand. I'm sorry. Our okay. genius is just an incomprehensible <sighs> version of our musical mind. I'm, I'm sorry. I should, I it's okay, I forgot. Scott, game. isn't it about your bedtime? What? Oh. Yeah, that's right. Because I'm the loser. <laughs> Kipso and Woo-Poo, please. So. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I need to come to you. You're taking the, you're taking the, um, <coughs> the job of hitting on the ladies. Is that his job? No, he's taking it from our, uh... Oh! Room. Picky Biggins. Looks angry. When is it turn for my interview? You know what? When is it time? If you for want my to come interview? over and get her, you know, you know, when it, when is it time for my interview? What? You know what? When you is it, when is it time for my interview? <laughs> you know what, Cecil? Why do you think you're the most important person in this band? Seriously, <laughs> I think it's time for my seriously my, without for my one on one interview. Is this a conflict here between the members of the Con band and Cecil? No, it's a conflict between Cecil. Cecil's a what? Cecil, you know. Oh, yeah, I guess he is. What? Oh, just, what is Cecil doing? Probably trying to build a gateway to China with Domino's. Then the surface area of this Domino is directly <laughs> proportional to how much I need in my own interview. Right okay, now. I think I think we're so Cec Cecil Magister. Yeah. My name. Yes, I'm sure. Um, how do you feel about your position in the group presently? Well, you know, I don't want to. Sound like okay. I'm the uh, <laughs> so crazy. the creative force in the band, but you know, I mean, I write many of the songs to an extent. Who would you say is the most talented? Is it you? That would definitely be me. I mean, I everyone helps write the songs, I guess, but definitely I uh, bring the most musical ability to the to the um. To the stage. I see. And um you don't do you feel that the others may sometimes get in your way of reaching the top of your aspirations? You know, some impediments because dragging you down. Usually we get along well. Usually we do. Now uh, there's occasional times when we do have a bit of trouble um staying together, understanding what's going on, you know. What do you think has been the hardest thing for you to deal with within this group? Hmm. When they don't understand what I'm trying to say, they don't understand what I'm doing. What's an example? Do you have any specific instances hmm. at all? I, I don't want to sound too critical of my fellow band members. I'm, that's that's below me. I just I don't want to stoop to that level. Oh, I see. <laughs> so um. Do you see? Do you feel that you want to stick with the band for a long time, or do you feel more going to solo work? 
I, I think this I think this is a, a, a good group, you know. Yeah. I, I don't feel um Don't wanna branch out by yourself? I, I may eventually branch out at a later time. Mm-hmm. God, I can't believe Cecil. He pisses me off. He's a great piano player, but he just God. He thinks he's the he just thinks he's the only thing in this band. Just, makes me he's just holding everyone back. Cecil is a jerk. He is overruling, he is he's rude, I just I can't stand him. Well, I've got really nothing bad to say about Cecil. He's quite the musician, and he helps me out when, I'm, when I need that extra zing or that word that I'm missing. He's a good guy. I can't. I need a chair. Here. Oh, God. So, Picky Biggins, um, who is this you have with you? Oh, this. This is Camille. She's, uh, she's a girl that we picked up along the way. Oh. It's, I think, isn't your name Camille? Um, well, it's Rose, but you know, whatever you want to call it. It's hard me. to keep up with all the ladies' names. Yeah, so you picked her up on tour? Um, actually in my backyard. Oh. Was, I was looking for my shirt. Oh. I don't know. She said her some, sometimes her shirts end up in yards. Somehow I don't get that, it. That's interesting. That interesting. It happens. Yeah, so, um, I hear that you're in this band. And how, how do you feel about the other members? Oh, the other members? Hambone and Kipso are great. I mean, Cecil's awesome, but sometimes he's a little arrogant. Arrogant? Yeah, I'll say. Just a little. Oh, sorry. This is your interview. <laughs> yeah, it is. Anyways. So, how would he be arrogant? Too much control? Well, one time he wrote one song, mm -hmm. and now he thinks he's just the greatest thing in the world. Oh, so he's only written one song? Well, only by himself, yeah. Oh, I see. He, he just made it seem like he wrote most of the... Well, that's what he would do. I see. Yes. And... Lisa, please, be careful with that. Uh, so I see you... I'm sorry, Miss Woo Poo, I didn't mean to interrupt. It, it's alright, it's perfectly fine. So I see you're quite the flutist. Oh. I flute very well. Could you show us a little bit? What would you like me to play? Anything that you'd like. <laughs> Whatever motivation hits you. <laughs> so, what are what's your relationship? Well, do you have a large fan base yet, or? Well, Have people, not really... people at, um, you know, at my, um, organization, it's, uh, called GHS. Uh-huh. They seem to love this last Sunday. And I every, yeah. everybody is begging me for tapes. Really? Yes. I mean, begging. How, how many tapes have you released so far to date? And when, when did you start exactly? Oh, we started on the last Sunday of fall break. Oh, where the, yes, I understand now. And uh, we have, one person mm -hmm. has a tape, other than us, I see. in the public. Oh. And it was a birthday Must present. be a prize. It is very valuable. Oh, I envy her for that tape. Lisa, you shouldn't be talking about Sorry. girls, okay, because you have it lucky enough with me. I'm sorry. All right. I am so sorry. I, Anyways, I'm sorry, um, Nikki, I'm sorry. so what I'm, I don't know, you're, so obviously you have at least one fan to have a tape. Yes. And are you very, like, who do you think your music most affects? Like, what age group? I would definitely say, um, 16 and 17. I see. Like, what, what? Do you draw from past experiences for your artwork? We draw. Or we draw from everything. I, I mean, anything that has ever happened to us is in our music. Mm -hmm. Every every good thing, every bad thing, every relationship we've ever been in, 
-hmm. any any past event that's ever happened, we we mush into one. We you mush like just like bread dough. Like bread dough, we mush it. <laughs> So I've been having this problem with um <laughs> Chip still has this drug problem. Cause I found these in his guitar case. And he said he stopped, but I think we're gonna deal with him sometime. <laughs> 